All right. Today's episode or uh, session, I don't know what you want to call it, is going to be about frame rate right here, time lapsing, all that kind of stuff. Okay, we have a really long clip right here. Uh, it's normal. It's playing right now. Clouds are barely moving. But uh, to fix that, to get your frame rate to go faster, right click, go down to properties, and your playback rate. You can move that up or down. If it's less than your one, it's going slower than the natural rate. And the higher, the faster it's going. Let's just move it to um, four times the speed and see what that gives us. All right, okay. Now you see these little dashes right here. That means that's where it's repeating. And you see there, it's divided into four sections now. Um, so every time you see that dash, that right here, it's it's repeating again. So get rid of all the excess film. And when we play this back now, you can see it's going a little faster with the car going by there. All right. Okay, now in the properties, you can only go to four times the speed. So the next thing you do is you have to render it. So highlight the clip. Go to File, Render As. And let's... for a tutorial. Save. It takes some time to render depending on your computer speed. Well I don't need to have you watch how it renders basically. The bar loads it renders. So I have another clip here of it fully rendered a couple times. What you have to do is once this is fully rendered it'll appear in the folder you rendered it to and you basically drag that to the line again and repeat that as many times as you as you want and what we have here is a clip of it being rendered a couple times also what you can do you can click on this go to properties you see under sample rate this is how many frames per second it goes so even though it's playing at some like let's say the speed a speed of two. If you filmed it in 24 frames, Vegas will play it as 48 frames. So you bring it down here, and let's bring it to 17 frames per second. It's going to look a little different. It looks a little bit choppier. Uh, I'll make that a little bit more extreme, so you can see that on. Uh, something there see it on YouTube all right okay also when it comes to sound uh, a lot of people have a lot of trouble speeding or slowing up sound same thing here let's speed it up okay 2.8 and then oh wait the sound is the same okay what do you do here properties it says time stretch pitch shift method go to classic there you go so once you're here this is the table that you're gonna use to bring the audio down to the right track right size to this now you can't just line it up you have to know exactly what the time length is I'll show you why in just a second so a really easy way to do this is bring both of your clips to the beginning of the timeline, stretch out, put your line right at the end of your other clip, and read right over here and see where that is on the timeline, which is 4412. So when you go to here, and right click on properties, original time length, go to new time length, and make that identical to how long your video clip is. 
And there you go, 44-12. Lines up perfectly. Yeah, there you go. And you don't get the chipmunk, the chipmunk voice either. So there you go, I've shown you how to do almost all the time manipulation stuff on Vegas. Uh, now you can do some cool slow motion, fast motion, voice alteration, whatever. You make it up, I'm not going to name every creative thing you can do. Peace.